All right, so the whole world thinks it's Bitcoin to the moon. Uh, why? Well, Wyckoff. What, what, what is this Wyckoff stuff, guys? Uh, you may be new to trading or you may never heard of it. So in this video, I'm going to show you why when everybody thinks it's the Wyckoff accumulation, it actually is not Wyckoff accumulation. Plain and simple. I'm going to give you five reasons why this is not the case while well, everybody is actually posting a shitload of videos saying that it is and if you're trying to nail the next move in Bitcoin if you are a short-term trader long term does Bitcoin go to the moon of course the question is if you're trading it right now what is it gonna do today what is it gonna do tomorrow what is it gonna do over the course of the next seven days in this video, we're going to show you just that. 13 market moves, the Mythbuster edition. If you're Bitcoin bull, I invite you to leave a negative comment below this video. Wyckoff accumulation. The whole world is on it. It's the new and the only indication that Bitcoin is going higher. So Wyckoff accumulation versus 13 market moves. Why everyone is wrong. What? The did you just say everyone is wrong Leo yes that's exactly what I just said damn it they can't even say the guy's name correctly it's not Wyckoff it's Vikov damn it Russian descendant happens to be a Russian descendant to the United States what in the ass in the 70s <laughs> 70s meaning like 1870s guys 1870s no wonder no wonder he thought the markets were manipulated back in 1870s, 1900s. I mean, Jesus, you don't have to go that far, but just to the crash of 1907, where three guys has manipulated the entire stock market crash. And if they didn't buy, whoa, we wouldn't even have a stock market today. Uh, did you just make that shit up, Leo? No, I'm damn serious. Okay, there are three guys... If they didn't buy the market back in 1907, we wouldn't actually have a stock market today. So, for the purpose of this video, we're going to break down why the whole world is wrong. It's not a big off accumulation, damn it. And we're going to show you five reasons exactly why it's not. And why this is an entirely a dead cat bounce in BTC. So, without looking any further, let's take a look at what everybody else is talking about. Uh, Bitcoin spring just happened. Vikov accumulation analysis. Vikov accumulation this spring. The manipulation revealed. Again, damn it. It's just like, I, I love the theme of like, stick it up to the man. But damn it, that is just not one of those cases. Just like it's not one of those cases with AMC or GME or you just buying into the fucking story, into the hype. And as a trader... If you want it to be a profitable one, you simply cannot afford to do so. Now, as much as I love some of these presenters here, some of these guys are great, but they're missing a very key point. I, this Yuri guy, I mean, he should have talked a little bit more about uh, Vikov was his grand-grand-grandfather. I wish he would have solved the truth, damn it. Anyways, shout out to all the guys making videos about Bitcoin, but uh, guys, in this video, I'm not going to be this nice. I'm going to tell you exactly why all of you are fucking wrong. Let's go. And more importantly, if everybody is wrong, then what is right? What is the best way to trade Bitcoin in the next seven days? I'm about to break this shit down to you guys, down to a T. So, so just in case you're new, I'm going to break down real quick what is a general pattern for, just in case you're brand new, I'm going to review the quick uh, pattern of what is uh, a general consensus of what a Vikov accumulation or distribution actually is. So in this particular case, we're going to focus on the accumulation because the main point that everyone is trying to make right now is that it is in the accumulation uh, uh, stage and you can break down the accumulation stage based off Vikov accumulation into five different stages. They generally named A, B, C, D, and E. And if we were to follow through on this, we would be in a stage uh, C and 
D type of formation. So generally speaking, uh, you're going to get a drop in something that you're trading and it's going to bounce once, it's going to drop, it's going to bounce twice and it's going to drop. And at that point, generally it is described as a spring. Basically it bounces out and it does not drop again. And from there, there is some uh, key characteristics to uh, pay attention to that would lead to a markup and an uptrend. And ultimately, it would lead to a uh, big off distribution. So uh, in this particular uh, case, we don't believe that this is anywhere close. Uh, but the pattern on the chart, if you were to look at the current pattern of Bitcoin, it does have a slight match to this type of situation. Therefore, you have a surge in videos that are talking about a match in this pattern. How comfortable is this? Well, it's comfortable if you're a Bitcoin bull because it is highly desirable for you at this point to find something that could spell a Bitcoin moving higher. And guys, I am a Bitcoin bull. However, we don't believe that a move high in Bitcoin is going to come any earlier than Elon Musk's birthday, which happens on the 28th. So basically, we're saying there's another five days where Bitcoin can go lower before it's actually going to move higher. We're basing our argument in the context of the time frame, volume, and some other things here, which I will break down shortly when we're looking at some specific charts. So argument number one is Vikov distribution is not something that is suitable for short time frames. So if you are a day trader, meaning you're day trading something on day within a couple of hours, a few hours, uh, within one trading session, uh, this is not a pattern that you want to follow uh, because generally it's not going to produce any great results. Uh, this is not a pattern you want to follow if you are a swing trader, meaning if you're trading and getting that in and out of your trades anywhere from three days to two months. So looking at the Vikoff accumulation distribution, it really works best on longer time frames, such as this chart for trades right here, going back to 2015 all the way to 2018. We're looking at a three-year time frame. This is when Vikov has actually nailed it. And so if you are a long-term investor, this is definitely something you should be paying very close attention to. However, if you are a short-term trader, you're getting in the trade today, you're looking to get out tomorrow. If you're getting into the trade today, you're looking to get out in the next three, four, five days. This is not something that you should be basing your trading decisions on because, again, it's great for longer time frames. It is not best suitable for shorter trading time frames. So let me give you some examples. So most of the Vikov distributions will hit the spring on a move three based off the current Bitcoin chart. Now, this is a snapshot. Uh, June 23rd. We're looking at a move lower one, move lower two, move lower three. So the spring should have actually taken place right here when we were going at a level of 30,900. Now, as you know, recently after we posted the video to short the bounce in Bitcoin again, Bitcoin moved all the way down to $28,800 yesterday. And at this point, we are getting a bounce as we've accurately predicted that Bitcoin was likely to go sideways for a couple of days based on the historic analog that we were using to break down the strategy of trading Bitcoin over the last few days. So if you look into the last video we posted on 13 Market Moves channel, it clearly points that there was going to be a move to the downside and it was going to bounce out. And that's exactly in the conditions where we are right now. Now, the only point on this chart I'm trying to make is that most of the Gov distribution patterns that will hit the spring on the move three, meaning it's not a move three from the 13 markets move formula by no means, but it basically tells you that the third time is the charm. And some will argue, but no, Leo, it can happen on the fourth or the fifth, on the seventh, on the fucking eleventh. It doesn't matter. If you study most of the charts, 
where Vikoff accumulation distribution is highly successful, it will happen in the third time. So third time is the charm, not is the case in current market conditions. Clearly the third time was here. We're in the fourth time and we're about to get the fifth time lower, guys. So stay with me as I'm trying to illustrate this using these charts right now. So volume is often misinterpreted when utilizing Vikoff accumulation. So this is a really good example of a highly predictive pattern which we name as a 13 market moves tornado pattern in our 13 uh, market moves crypto star course. The sign is clear right here. So this uh, huge line in the red represents that the volume from here where it was basically non-existent it spikes to significant levels and this is in red because the volume is red as you can see this huge red bar that happens when we go to the level of 28.8 okay some will argue that this is exactly the characteristic when you're using the Vikoff accumulation that would signal that that is the point of a turnaround however you should also analyze the Vikoff findings on what should be happening next if indeed it is going to resolve in a breakout and we have a huge conflict at this point on the chart so generally speaking after this huge break lower on a huge volume what should be happening is a huge volume to the upside but as you can clearly see based on the chart as we're moving from 28,800 to the upside what indeed is happening is a diminishing volume formation as you observe in these gray bars right here. And going further, what would be called is a reaccumulation in using the Vikoff formula. Uh, you would see a spike in the volume here. As you can see, the volume here does not spike. As a matter of fact, the next leg up that we're forming right here it is created on a much lower volume in relation to this volume. So basically what we are saying, this entire move higher would be something that we would describe in our 13 markets move formula and our charge divergences course as a divergence on the price action versus volume. So for this to be a true Vikov accumulation, we should supposedly see an increase in this gray bars right here so we should be seeing bars right here moving higher instead we got bars that are less than the bars right here if this was a true Vikoff move okay we would see bars moving up here above the levels of the sell-off now that is not the case all right, and when we combine this with a lot of other proprietary information, which we talk about in our Crypto Star Bitcoin trading course, guys, this adds up to a huge move lower. And I will change the color for this to point that that we are going lower here. Okay, so there is no follow through on the buy side once we bounce out of that level. That is not a positive for the bulls. So right now, what I would like for you to do is focus on a pattern. Now, this is a highly predictive pattern in Bitcoin that has taken place again and again and again. You can trace this pattern going back to what other people will call the Vikoff distribution pattern when we were at a levels of 58, 61, 64K on BTC. Now, many people confuse that and they try to align it because of their comfort level. But what we really have going on here, guys, it's a simple 13 market moves tornado pattern. And what you have here is a recent representation of how this pattern actually works. So if you focus right here with me, okay, we don't have this part of the chart here portrayed, but just understand that when we get to this level of about 37, 5, 38 thousand right here on Bitcoin recently. Now this is June 5th, 2021. So you can pull this up on your chart and observe this um, on a certain time frame. But we're using a five minute dating back to June 5th right here. 
and the trend is identical to what's actually taking place right now in the price action of Bitcoin. So once we bounce out of a low, we start going sideways, creating what we call a tornado pattern within our 13 market moves curriculum. And what it does, it always resolves. And what I mean always, in 95 plus percent cases, specifically applied to Bitcoin price action. And clearly some of the other cryptos will have a similar price action, such as Ethereum, etc. This is what's about to happen again. So focus on this pattern again. This is the tornado pattern. 13 market moves, baby. This is what we're about to get again. So if you are looking at this, the most critical aspect of this pattern is that the last move to the upside undercuts the prior high. So given the current circumstance, we have a situation where the prior high based off today's action on June the 23rd would be 34,500, give or take 100 points. And now we could be staging another move higher, but it's going to undercut that level by about 100 or 200 points. Once that is confirmed, we're destined to get a tornado pattern. So this is exactly what I mean. Basically, if you take a look today, June 23rd, so looking at June 23rd, the pattern that we're seeing developing, when it bounces out, right, we're hitting this level slightly about above 34.5. Then we drop, um, then we slightly bounce. From here on, okay, we should be getting some meaningful downsized moves, and I'm going to give you some other criteria why that is about to happen. Basically, if you follow this pattern, this is a almost a perfect match of what was taking place on June 5th, June 6th, and we're about to get an exact replica of that. The only thing that could vary is the ultimate bottom of this move, which we believe is going to coincide with Elon Musk birthday on June 28th. So we are expecting a tweet. I know for somebody that follows the charts, you're expecting an Elon Musk tweet to move the market damn right. We pay attention to a lot of things here at 13 market moves. Expect an Elon Musk tweet on the 27th or 28th that will ultimately determine the bottom of this move in Bitcoin and Ethereum and so on. But for the next five days, if you're a day trader, you want to short this dead cat bounce. At this point, based off the current formation, we could expect a move to the downside anywhere from two to 4,000 points, but by as much as 7,000 points, which from current levels could easily put us at a level of about 26, 27K. Depending on the volume that could be coming in, we could actually get a move all the way down to 24, 287. So our first target one is 26, 332. Second target, 24, 287. Pretty aggressive move considering how everybody is so high on the VKOF accumulation. Now, what almost guarantees that it is not a VKOF accumulation, besides all the aspects I've mentioned so far, is that this decision is so unanimous. And when all the market participants come together at the same conclusion, at the same outcome of what's about to happen, I guarantee you it's 99% wrong. So instead of going with the VKOF accumulation, as everybody believes here, here at 13 Market Moves, we want to take a stance at what we believe is going to be more accurate, which is the historic analog of Bitcoin dating back to 2017-2018. Basically, today, instead of a move higher, we are destined to get a lower move in Bitcoin represented by this red candle right here. We could get some sideways action going into the next 48 hours. But the critical part of this right here, guys, is to notice. Let me switch the color here real quick. The critical part of this next move is to notice where things are actually going. And if we can just stuff this part of the equation out, we're fixing to get a meaningful two red candle 
move lower. Now, let me tell you how meaningful this two red candle move is. So there's going to be your red candle one right here. I'm going to portrait this by a black dot and we're going to get another black dot right here. Ultimately, we're going to uh, black out right there. Okay, now from 9,000 basically going out to 6,200 guys. That is not a small move. That is based off the historic analog that I'm showing you right now. Could represent a move anywhere from 20 to 30 percent. Considering we're right now at 34k, at the time I'm recording this, Bitcoin is at 34k. That literally translates into a seven to nine thousand point move lower from here, which is how we're going to reach the target of 24k to 26k. Now a lot of you are skeptical right now, a lot of you are brainwashed, a lot of you are brainwashed by a lot of bullshit that you watch on the news, um, a bunch of propaganda. Uh, guys, focus on the chart. A lot of historic analogs, when they're going as smoothly as this one, they will play out down to a point, and in this case it's 24k to 26k in BTC. Now, if you've never heard of the 13 market smooth formula, guys, we assign, we combine patterns and probabilities together. We assign a numeric number to a particular day and when a certain pattern falls out, we call it with a certain number based of 1 through 13. If we take a look at the Bitcoin movements over the course of the last six days, we're getting a sequence of 2, 3, 3, 3. 12, 5. If you studied the 13 market smooth formula, you would have known that 12 is a much lesser bullish move than the 1 on the 7, and 5 is a diminished bullish move in relation to a 12. That gives us a high probability of the next move lower, such as another 3 or a 2. Okay, so considering we got a highly negative sequence right here on Bitcoin this also confirms a downward movement and if you're not familiar with 13 market moves guys I invite you to click the link below take advantage get the course today but what's more important for you is to focus on the charts before you go in and you combine it with the sequences on the 13 market moves and for that reason you should get the latest course we just Posted the latest course that shows you shows you specifically how to trade Bitcoin, the entries, the exits, the psychology of entries and exits, the specific pivotal points on the chart. What do you look at to get in? What do you look at to get out, guys? If you're looking forward to learning some of the stuff that nobody else will show you anywhere on YouTube or anywhere else for that matter, okay, click the link below. If you are wanting to advance from a soldier into the general of trading, the crazy crypto markets, we have something that nobody else got. You're just one phone call away from changing the destiny of your trading account. So click the link below this video or visit 13mmtv.com. Click right here, Crypto Star. You got an option to work with a trading coach. Crypto Star course, guys. This is the course that will change the outcome of your trading account exponentially moving forward from today, June 23rd, on to the rest of the year. It's not what everybody believes to be true. It's oftentimes the opposite. But you've got to know the specifics, which is exactly what this course is going to show you how to do. When do you enter? When do you exit? Why do you do it now? Why? Do you want to wait another 12 hours before you pull the trigger on your trade? If you're looking to advance your trading skills to the next level. 13mmtv.com, Crypto Star, take action now. I'll catch you guys on the next trade soon. See you when Bitcoin hits 26-27k. Let's roll. Oh yeah, we are going to be buying it then, but we're not buying it yet.